Are you living your dream life, Patrick? Did you ever think all of this could ever be real when back in the day when there was those people in the makeup store that you were working at telling you that you can't wear makeup and then telling you to wash your face? Do y'all see who the f I'm touching right now? It's mother motherfucking Tyra Banks. Hello? Are you kidding? I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that chill sick go. Really, I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that 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 that. I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that chill sick go. Really, I don't really need that that sick 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 go. That sick go sick go. I don't really need that that sick. Hi guys, it's Patrick Stewart. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I have Tyra Banks live in the flesh in my video. I'm up in here, baby. I'm shook. Are you guys shook? We have Tyra <laughs> Banks with Patrick Star. This is our second YouTube video together. You'll but the see first beat. But the first beat on Tyra Banks. And as you guys can tell, this is literally Tyra Banks in red. It's been a minute since we have seen you in red. Quite a few minutes and he got me back into this. So I'm kind of like obsessed with it right now. Oh Tyra, gosh. baby girl. We spill all the supermodel tips and tricks as an entrepreneur, mom entrepreneur. We spill all the tea, such an inspiration, an educator and teacher to us all. And I'm so excited to have you on my channel to slay this fool. I am so excited too. Everybody's about to see this face wash too. They're about to see it raw. Raw and real Tyra Banks in the flesh. We started with brows. Brow Kiki is available right now because we slayed the brows because we're here to have a little Kiki together. What is a Kiki without a smize? And Tyra Banks launched Smize Cream Ice Cream, her first ever ice cream endeavor to fill our tummies, our souls with a little surprise and delight at the very end of the bottom pit of the ice cream. Mm. That shit. It's, busting. it's available now so if you guys want to pause the video go order yourself some ice cream at smicecream.com get it shipped to your door baby we will take it to your door on dry ice it will be frozen frozen fresh ready to eat guys without further ado let's just jump right into the video and don't forget makeup, makeup is, is a one size fits, fits all, all. All right, you guys, I'm so excited for today's video with Miss Tyra Banks. Thank you again for coming on the channel. Oh, I'm so excited, and I love I'm already being prepped. Look at this. Yes, so we're being prepped. This is the Secure the Blur eye patches. I had to hook my girlfriend up. It's been a while since we've seen each other. It's been a while. We met in Vegas. We mm -hmm. met on Top Model. Uh -huh. The finale got talent. Mm -hmm. I have yet to be a dancer with the stars. Well, you know, you know. Can you, you know, do a little Ronda DJ? I could do an arabesque and a Tuta Bay. And uh, a, a Tuta Bay. Yeah. Yes, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> but okay. today we are gonna have a kiki. I launched my brow kiki, and we're all about the brows. And Miss Tyra loves to express herself. And like I said at the beginning, she launched a smize cream. So we want to support the smize and the smize cream. The ice cream. Ice cream mm -hmm. with these beautiful brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Auburn and snatch her brows because we're gonna go for a dramatic transformation. I love it. This is the first time you're doing my makeup. I know. I have told literally everyone's like, whose makeup would you love to do? And I was like, you know what? I haven't touched Miss Tyra yet. And we met years ago. So do you remember when we met was Vegas? I know Vegas. Yeah. I know, I know. So crazy. Long time ago. When Tyra says go to Vegas, you go to Vegas, okay? <laughs> Such yeah. pretty packaging. Yeah, she's red, and ain't nobody got this color. There's not. Basic. I want it red. It's iconic. Red to me stands for love, um, self love, being bold, powerful, like a red lip or a red bottom shoes. It's just very striking, which is why I wanted to choose red and turn tower into like red undertones today for this dramatic makeover. The brow's about to go down, and I'm just gonna go ahead and have a kiki. And I called it brow kiki because, you know, a brow kiki is a party or gathering where brows are invited to express themselves. Oh. And what better way than to express yourself than through your brows? And so it's kind of like a play on words. They have seen it online, and it's so funny because Smice Cream just launched, and brow kiki launched in store as well. Isn't so, that crazy? We're like launch cousins or sisters. Yes, we're entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, <laughs> honey. Yes. What did you learn about like Smize Cream um, and or businesses? Because you have Bankable, you have your shows and your mm -hmm. TV and hosting. 
What do I learned about being in the ice cream business? Mm -hmm. what do, there's so many different things. Lordy. You know what I learned? The most important thing, at first we were partnering with other people and using their ice cream base, but putting our recipes on top of that. Over time, I was like, you know what? Nope, we're gonna make our own ice cream base. Everything is gonna be from us. We're not gonna be layering on top of somebody else's stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, so it is all us. We own it. For you people out there, it's called intellectual property. What you own, if you're an entrepreneur trying to start your own business, try to do as many things that you own as possible. Mm. And so now the Smice Cream base is bananas. Not bananas. Don't taste like bananas. It's amazing. Really? Because we took so much time, took six months developing it and making sure it was mm -hmm. amazing. And in her ice cream, there's a surprise and delight at the bottom, which I love because I just love being extra. And so I wouldn't expect nothing less from Miss Tyra than to put a little yes. bit of salt and salt oh, yeah, at the bottom of her ice cream. I could just do normal ice cream. Yes, our ice cream base is amazing. The ice cream flavors are delectable, but different is better than better. At the bottom of every ice cream, there is something about that big, like real big, like golf ball size. And it is a cookie dough chunk. Mm. Huge, 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 huge. Everybody loves cookie dough. It's a cookie dough chunk. And you got the dig, baby dig to get to that chunk, but also think about your dreams and your goals. Mm -hmm. We have a huge gift back program when it comes to mm -hmm. some ice cream of, of really matching people with mentors to help them make their dreams come true. And so you mm -hmm. dig, think about them dreams, eat that ice cream, find that smile cream, mm -hmm. find that smile surprise. <laughs> Do you still have like new, like when do you set your new goals? I mean, cause it's like when I think Tyra is just like, you know, done it all, she does more. How do you set your goals or do you just think, do you daydream a lot? Like how do you go about doing that? And you also said too, I saw in your interview that it's important for models to like celebrate, you know, their health too. And yeah. to have a treat every now and then. Cause you've yeah. been in the industry for years as a model. As a model and as a model being told you have to look a certain way. Back in my day, there was no diversity. diversity was oh, a couple black girls, a couple Asian girls this season, maybe not next season. You know, mm -hmm. I was a little bit different. I had some challenges of gaining weight and the industry telling me that my career was going to go downhill if I didn't lose weight. But with the help of my mama, mm -hmm. you know, she said, we're going to eat this pizza and we're going to plot a plan mm -hmm. to find clients that appreciate the curves that are developing on your body. Mm -hmm. And that was an exercise that you had to do in your in your brain to yeah. train yourself to be confident. Yeah, to train myself to be confident and to understand that, you know, there's an industry and they love skinny and that's that's cool, that's them. But I don't have to necessarily do that. Mm -hmm. I can find an industry or a part of the industry that appreciates what's happening to mm -hmm. my body. So that's that was good. mama helping me with that. Mm -hmm. What has been your favorite or most memorable era of your career so far? I think it would have to be like uh, my Victoria's Secret days and my Sports Illustrated days. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, first black model on Sports Illustrated, which you recreated yeah, I with recreated Loretta Houston. It. I sure did. I found uh, this amazing black photographer a couple of years ago to shoot me on the cover of Sports Illustrated almost 25 years after I'd been on the cover. In the same bikini. Yeah, uh, yeah we did. We did. Oh, or well, a, re a, well, a recreation. <laughs> But yeah, that was a really big groundbreaking moment. Mm -hmm. There had never been a black model on the cover of that Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of the highest selling issues ever. So that just shows you that mm -hmm. diversity is not just for the sake of good, it's mm -hmm. for the sake of business as mm -hmm. well. That's crazy. Did you know you were reshaping business then or did you have to, was it like after the fact, like the fantasy bra, the catalog? Stuff. I knew that it was breaking barriers, but I didn't really truly understand it until a little bit later. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're in it and you're just kind of like pushing and going mm -hmm. and then you look and see, oh my God, I opened the door for this black girl and this girl and mm -hmm. this girl. And then you go, wow. Sports Illustrated many years later did a top 10 big award show thing, like top 10 covers. Mm -hmm. And they were announcing them and surprising them. I didn't know if I was gonna be in it, but they told me to come. So I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, I'm in the top 10. Mm -hmm. So I think I was like number three of all time. But before they had called me, all the models are going on the stage and they're saying, oh yeah, this was my dream. I always wanted to be on this cover. I always wanted to be on this cover. When they call my name and I got on the stage to do my speech, I'm like, it, it wasn't my dream because I didn't think it could be, mm. could ever happen. And so it was nice that that happened to me. So now other models, they dream of that. And there mm. was a young model by the name of Danielle Harrington who told me that it was her dream because she saw me on the cover. Mm -hmm. And she knew and that- And you granted her the cover. Yes, and then later yes. I surprised her. I, I, I watched, oh, I, I watched. I surprised her with her being yes. on the cover. And then she made me cry telling me that she dreamed of it because she saw me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's progress, you yes. know? You can't, sometimes you can't dream it if you can't see. Mm -hmm. 
see it. Do you think like for people aspiring to be something big, because you've literally made dreams come true, like with businesses, mm -hmm. employment, jobs, opportunities, teaching people, do you think, I've realized now that gratitude is a good checkpoint, mm -hmm. like to be thankful for what you have, mm -hmm. like you, know, you still have your mom with you, mm -hmm. you have a life and experience, but I've learned that from other entrepreneurs that like, hey, like looking at the glass half full and seeing mm -hmm. like, do you practice that? I do, I do. I, I didn't used to stop and take it all in. Mm -hmm. um, I used to just keep going and going and going and going. And now sometimes I'll be with my man and we'll just drive down the street and I'm like, do you realize we started an ice cream company during a pandemic? <laughs> right. Do you realize this? Or, or, or really start to think and think of the people that have given us opportunities to make our dreams come true. So it's something that I've stopped and kind of looked and kind of done a check as mm -hmm. opposed to just keep going, 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 going. Mm -hmm. cool I mean, down. if anyone knows how to work the wind, it's Miss Tyra. <laughs> Are there any new modeling tricks that we could practice? Is it just always new smizing? Ones? Oh, there's always something. Like you're always coining something oh. new. So I want to get ahead of the trend, you oh, know, before yeah. TikTok there's, gets it. There's so many. <laughs> um, there's so many that I haven't talked about necessarily publicly. Mm -hmm. There's one thing about like biting down on the jaw mm -hmm. to like help your jawline. You can mm -hmm. do that. You can like mm -hmm. bite down hard. Mm -hmm. It's like making concert happen. If you don't got your makeup, you just suck the jaws in a little bit. There you go. There you go. Oh my mm -hmm. God, this is happening. Mm -hmm. See the shadow happen? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you can't walk around like that. So you need one size to give you some contour in there. Look, not everyone in the back mm -hmm. is doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't walk around like that. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So to continue this kiki with Miss Tyra Banks, I went ahead and I concealed under her brows just to give that little extra snatch look. This, of course, is optional, but because I have a supermodel in my chair, I thought I would snatch the brows and prime the eyelids so we can do the eye shadow you mentioned to me earlier you have natural eyeshadow with your hyperpigmentation so do i i have natural eyeshadow how many people come up to you and go oh my god this yes. is your eyeshadow is amazing <laughs> and i'm like that's called dark circles baby. <laughs> yeah so you've covered the dark on top mm -hmm. So you can like um, bring nice. newness. Yeah, so you can make whatever shape you want now mm. as opposed to the shape that my hyperpigmentation is telling you to do. <laughs> right, right. What is your updated beauty routine now? What's your go-to? You know, I get my concealer going and I don't really do base anymore on myself. And I try mm -hmm. not to when I'm doing like even presentations and stuff. I do like a powder foundation. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I find that that powder foundation, it <laughs> really covers really well. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of layer it up. And I'm not just saying this because you have powder foundation. Mm -hmm. It's my new thing. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe all these years I could have been skipping the base and just mm -hmm. doing the powder foundation. I used to be scared of it, to be honest. Mm. I used to be like, what is that? It's going to make me look patchy. I just didn't or understand. Powdery. I'd be a powdery. Mm -hmm. I just didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. but I really like it. Did you get traumatized by the 90s and the 2000s with the makeup trends? I, and... I, get, I, I still have trauma. <laughs> I have PTSD. <laughs> Ash, PTSD, <laughs> post-traumatic stress ash. Yeah, I mean, you know, just the colors weren't necessarily perfected then. We were mm -hmm. like on the cusp of that happening mm -hmm. or makeup artists just not knowing how to work with my skin, let alone the hair. I have a mm -hmm. million stories of just hair stories. Mm -hmm. I used to be jealous that certain models could, could come to work and just have their little purse and I used to have to have like luggage as if I was checking in JFK mm -hmm. airport, you know, of just makeups and mm -hmm. hair and hair tools and scarves and all just so mm -hmm. many things. And I know that there's still, you know, people in the industry that still suffer with that from that today. But there's like a, a movement of them demanding um, having artists that know how to do mm -hmm. our hair, which is mm -hmm. really important. So. Right. What does it take to be a model now than back then? I mean, you, you're seeing social yeah. media. You post motivational TikToks. If you guys haven't I, seen, she, <laughs> I feel like I'm on FaceTime with her. I mean, we like I'm with her, but she's like, hey, boo. I love you. You're love powerful. You. Like, like. And I do it from my bedroom too. <laughs> yeah. Tend to be a little private, but I'm like, uh -huh. do this from my bedroom. Yeah. You know, models today. Oh my gosh. So my day, you can look like crap going to work, mm. do the job, take your butt home. Now you have to wake up and tell the world what you're doing and look, you know, natural, but not too natural, because then you're busted, and then you get really bad comments, and then you gotta get to work looking cute, you know, then you have to do the job and then not just be photographed on the job, but do content while you're being photographed. There's a lot more 
that you have to do that we did not have to do back in my day. But at the same time, the positive side of that is if there was something, some untruth that was said about us back in the press or something, we had to go through publicists and try to get the truth out there. And now, you know, you have the mic. everybody has the mic to just say, no, that's not true. And this is what happened. Do you like it now? Yes and no, because every moment of my life is uh, in a business meeting and at being an entrepreneur, people might see me you know, in the world sometimes and thinking I'm not doing anything, but really like I'm more of a business person than an on-camera person. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is I'm constantly in meetings and constantly looking like crap and constantly then I'm like, oh man, I gotta do something for social. And I'm like, but I look like crap. And so it's a little bit of a, a challenge for me, mm -hmm. but I still do like its existence for people to be able to, you know, speak their truth. Mm -hmm. I gotta get this set up, y'all. If y'all can see this set up, have you ever done the behind the scenes of your setup? Uh, I have, but not extensively. You, I don't. I don't think you understand Patrick's setup. <laughs> it's like NBC, up. it's like CBS, y'all. I mean, you you had your own Emmy Award winning talk show, exactly, girl. Exactly, <laughs> and I'm right back. It's like a and flashback. Over here, the little I mean, studio. how many lights? One, two, three, seven lights, two screens, There's ten cameras. Oh, God. And a, and a up light, and a back light, like I'm a Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is, uh, he's got upstairs guys. If you had Tyra Banks on your freaking YouTube channel, you would have eight lights too, so okay? This is, this is CBS. <laughs> Okay, no, this is PBS Patrick's podcasting system. <laughs> Let me find out there's a bankable YouTube productions on the side. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start that. We're really late. Like, we're so traditional. I'm old, I'm 47. At 47, what do you wanna share? Or like, like, what are you excited to share that people haven't seen from Ms. Tyra Banks yet? They ain't tasted that ice cream. Okay. They have not tasted some ice cream. Some people have. We had a little bit of teas in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. but now you can get it nationwide. Just go to smicecream.com, yes. baby, smicecream.com, and you can get it shipped straight to your door. And so many people don't know that you can ship ice cream. Like yes. There's dry ice, and there's a whole system that you will get it frozen. Wow. So I'm so excited for mm -hmm. everyone in this country, in America right mm -hmm. now. The world soon, but America right now. Yes. Can get the ice cream. I mean, if it's anyone that knows America, okay? I don't know why you haven't won Miss America. You have Miss America's Next Top Model. You have America's Got Talent. And you have Miss America Dancing with the Stars host. Isn't this fucking sickening, guys? Like, we have Miss America in my chair. You, like, so crazy. Oh my gosh, you know what I, I found out too? Smize is, I think, 12 years old. Is it? Yes, 2009. Is that you, the year? 2009, you coined Smize. Did I? Yes. I saw, I, I looked it up. I was like, how old is Smize? And can you believe? 12 <laughs> years. And you know what? It, it blew up during the pandemic mm -hmm. with people, you know, wearing masks and saying that it was more important than ever to smize and to speak with people with your eyes mm -hmm. to show thank you and kindness and, you know, all of mm -hmm. that. And so that was a whole new resurgence you just woke up one day and you were like smiles when you were just judging and like talking about how to speak you smile you're... with your eyes i used to always tell eyes. people yeah smile, smile with your, with your eyes. eyes smile, smile with, with your eyes. eyes smile with your eyes. i was like i'm tired of saying it smile with your eyes like, too many words <laughs> and so one night i just took a pad a yellow pad and a pen mm -hmm. and i started writing down ways that i could shorten it because i love combining words and making mm -hmm. new words and then at first i smelled it s-m-e-y-e-s Ooh. Like eyes with an S M in front mm -hmm. of it. And I was like, oh, that just looks like Smeas. Smeas. And then I decided to put an I Z E. And wow. that was it. And a trademark first. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what I did with, with uh, makeup as a one size fits all because I was shopping. Oh. at the Beverly Center, uh -huh. and they didn't have any clothes in my size. And I was like, you know, I can't buy anything in here, but you know I could buy? Makeup, because makeup is a, oh, makeup is a one size fits all. Oh. That's how I came up with it. Wow. And I trademarked it right away okay. in 2016. Wow. And later it turned into the brand called One Size, that or makeup is a, is a one, one size, size fits, fits all. all. Because it is, oh my mm -hmm. God, that is amazing. Yeah, and it's crazy how I've been able to like wear makeup as a man and then show my talents on you and yeah. other people that accept who I am. More than accept, love, celebrate, yes. be inspired by. And some people are a little jealous, like, Oh my God, I, I forgot to tell you. So if you guys didn't know, when Tyra and I met, it was at your office. 
uh, or out in Vegas, but then we did our first YouTube video together. Oh, at my offices. Yeah, your yes. offices. Yes. What's in my bag? And yes. I was like, what's in Tara's bag? <laughs> Most organized queen ever. She has a bag for everything, a charger. She has a big ass coin purse. She has a big thing for receipts. She has I was super child. organized she has back then. everything. Child, it's not like that anymore. You had deodorant wipes or something. Yeah, little funk wipes. Yes. Mm -hmm. My mama was like, you gotta need these funk wipes. <laughs> I just realized yesterday, because I knew we were doing this video today, mm -hmm. that you took off my makeup. I did in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Together. And I'm like, not me seeing Tyra. Is she gonna You're take off right. my makeup? Oh my god. I you like wiped about it off that. for like two million people, like live so streaming on true. Facebook. I about and that. then I was like, I launched my brand with makeup remover, so I thought it was really, that really That is fun. amazing. Yeah. I love your makeup remover. Oh, way. thank you. Not saying this just because I'm here, y'all. Like literally the last spray, night. The, the go spray, the go off spray, go off, <laughs> go off. But you also feel like glamorous with doing it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never seen a makeup you remover know what, like so, that. So some of the girls, the queens, have said it's a good um, wig remover too. If you oh, want to get that for the glue. Uh, for the glue. Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, we're gonna take the go off after and wipe under the eye. That's why I want to get this mm. smoky, smoky first. And we're gonna go ahead and wipe underneath with the go off after mm -hmm. we're done. For people uh, wanting to act and like have social media, like you were the actor of all actors everywhere from your movies and acting skits and like basically showing emotion. What is your kind of favorite role that you've played in your acting career? You know, the one I play that's a favorite is like, it's not the deep one I played track runner and crazy violence happened in higher learning. But you know, I think life size where I was a doll. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> we were literally blasting uh, Be A Star, Be a star? Oh my gosh. And I was invited to the life size yes, you were. premiere yes. in all pink. I was like, I'm going to meet Eve tonight. And you, you were literally Eve decked Eve out. Tonight. Yes, that was a Second with the sequel, which performed so well. Oh it was my like gosh, so fifty percent higher than what they thought it was gonna. Perform. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, that's my favorite role. Miss Lindsay. I was literally thinking about her. Oh my god, this is Lindsay's necklace. Is like, it? Yeah, this is the line that she did. Can you see it? Oh my god, it's like love. a star. A star. Be a star with Lindsay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out you were for Lindsay Lohan. You know what? I don't know if that is. Be a star, but you know, maybe some, maybe some, we'll some have to We'll have to shoot her a little text. Yeah. <laughs> I still stay in touch with her. Oh, uh, yeah. She DM'd me not too long ago saying she loved the makeup. And I was oh, like, what? Wow. wow. And I forgot you were in the Hannah Montana movie, too. I was watching yeah. it over quarantine over some doing my laundry. I was just like folding. And I was like, let me just watch Hannah Montana. And you're fighting in the scene. Yes. And I was like, what? Miss Tara's everywhere! Miley Cyrus, she told me on the set of that movie, because I was supposed to actually do a huge role, but I couldn't because of my talk show and mm -hmm. top model at the time. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, can you just do a cameo? So I did a cameo. And on set, she's like, everybody loves you because of your model show, but I really wanted you in this movie because of life size. Aww. I was like, oh. And it, you know what's so crazy about Miley Cyrus is mm. image, tongue out, uh, uh. That is the nicest, sweetest little baby in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to like being around somebody that was a child star and you're on the set with them and she is so precious and so gracious. Because a lot of the times child stars will act up because everybody is just so nervous to make sure they want to get the shot and make sure the child star is okay and, and then they kind of create monsters. With Miss Miley, she was super precious. Mm -hmm. Really sweet. And her mama was there too. I'm like, how, how come your, your baby ain't crazy? How come she, <laughs> she demanded right. things? I just remember um, seeing you that like on the Oprah show too, like, and you had your talk show too. And mm -hmm. was there anything that Oprah has taught you? Oh, so I didn't know that I was a good talker. And so I didn't know. And Oprah, her team and Oprah wanted me to come and do the show and, and whatever topic that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And I would almost um, be a, a guest correspondent for her. And mm -hmm. I did that for one season of her show. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was a good talker. I was like, mm -hmm. I guess she just likes me. I don't know why she wants me to come. <laughs> Are you kidding? I didn't understand it. I was so young. I, was, I didn't understand it. I was like, I guess I'm- Do you remember your first time meeting Oprah? It was definitely on the show. I think I came on as, I know what it was. I came on as like a new, the new model of the moment or okay. whatever. And yeah, and she interviewed me just about like career and, and stuff like that. And then I came on again for something else. And then that's when they said, will you be a correspondent like Dr. Phil and all mm -hmm. that and just keep coming back. So I couldn't come back as much as I would have liked to because I was still modeling at the time, but yeah. um, I did. 
do it often. So your crossover from fashion to uh, model, what was the bug for you? Was it acting or was it talking and being yourself? Oh my and, gosh. Like that's, Patrick, that's what I was trying to figure out, like, because you're Patrick, a supermodel. Patrick. Tell me. Acting takes a lot. Really? Oh my gosh. It is not easy for me. I have my acting coach, I'm going over my lines, I'm like nervous, memorizing someone else's lines. Mm -hmm. But hosting mm -hmm. and just being myself is the easiest thing for me. Well, let me get down to the nitty gritty. You know, growing up as an entertainer, who on like a team, like growing up, are the most integral part? Because influencers are now getting managers, you mm -hmm. know, protection, there's agencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like who are the most important people? I would assume like a lawyer. Yeah, so this is such a good question for you influencers out yes. there, for you entrepreneurs, because you are entrepreneurs with your personal brand. Mm -hmm. I would say that, yeah, representation, I think an agent is very important, mm -hmm. then a lawyer. Mm. If you really trying to be real famous, mm -hmm publicist so they can amplify the message that you are already and doing. your mama played Take all those in the, in the beginning in the beginning my mama did it all <laughs> business manager so oh uh, accountant is really really important for your money for your money oh, wow. and to listen to them and then after the accountant would be like the more of the investment banker and then just some good friends around you mm. good people good friends mm -hmm. that you can be yourself, mm -hmm. that you can cry when you read those negative comments about yourself mm. on social. What do you look for in friends? Because influencers, you don't know who's fake, you don't know who's real, you mm -hmm. don't know who's filtered, you don't know who's unfiltered. Mm -hmm. Like, give the give the mother advice. You've yeah. been in every single <laughs> industry, actor, model, you were the in roommates, you and Heidi. Like, y'all yeah, go way back, yeah, supermodel. I, I have two things on my shoulder when it comes to friends. If it's a new person, I have this thing on my shoulder that's like, everybody's good trust and they're just good and so i tend to trust until i'm like oh my god you just wanted to be my friend because you want your daughter to be a supermodel mm. or you just want to be my friend because you just keep liking to take pictures with me because your likes go up when we do pictures i tend to get my feelings hurt a lot and i try not to lead with that other one that's like don't be trusting them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I, I still like to say maybe start on the positive side and, and try to see the good in people just act fast when you see the bad mm -hmm. you know like just yeah, pivot, I've heard. Pivot fast. Yeah, I've heard higher, slow, fire, fast. Ex that's exactly. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Okay. Higher, slow, fire, fast. So when you're hiring someone, you take your time, you read their resume, you interview them. Other people interview them in your organization, or your mama can interview them. Take your time and mm -hmm. make sure you're making a good decision. But then when things are not really right, you, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Yeah, you know. That's good advice. Y'all are getting a tutorial and a master class. By the way, she <laughs> teaches at Stanford too, so this is a full on course. This is a cool stuff. Like, cool should us. I talk like this? <laughs> talk how, how, how is he, t tell them about your Stanford. Um, what I teach at your, Stanford? Your teaching games. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure people don't really know that you, you're a professor. <laughs> professor Banks. <Peggs. laughs> So I, yeah, I lecture at Stanford. It's, it's more than lecturing because it's mm -hmm. very interactive. And I teach personal branding to second year business students. So I teach um, my students how to take their personal brands to the next level. And it's not necessarily about being famous. These students don't want to necessarily be famous, but they do want to separate themselves from their competitors and to have a competitive advantage against other people that are in their same sector. So I teach them how to differentiate. And I tell them the first day that different is better than better. Look at everybody in your industry and see what are the things that you do need to hold on to, but then what are the things that you can be different to set yourself apart? And then setting yourself apart will attract other people to your business. You can get amazing talent to hire. If you're trying to raise money, you'll stand out against a competitor for these venture capitalists that are looking to invest in businesses. So yeah, it's a very intensive course. And you love it. I love it. Patrick, I think I'm going to teach when I retire. You've been teaching. I mean, full, I mean, full time. time. I mean, full time. Really? Yeah. That's I so love cool. it so much. And to see my students like, like at the end of the up. course, yeah, and they're like, you changed my life. And I've had students after they're, they've taken our courses, I have a co teacher, mm -hmm. Allison Kluger. What up, Allison? Mm -hmm. And, you know, they get on the 30 under 30 list on Forbes wow. and Fortune magazines and things like that based on the principles that we're teaching them. And it's just, it makes me so proud and happy. So wow. that's why yeah, I'll be doing that. When I'm, when I'm old, Sweet girl, you're never gonna stop. You need more ice cream. <laughs> You'd be the coolest teacher though. She'd be giving ice cream to the class, huh? You know what? So ice cream wasn't around yet. Maybe <laughs> on the last day we'll have an ice cream party. Mm-hmm.
Like, Would you got shit if you was just trying to scoop who Miss Miss Banks is, and then you see <laughs> with the wind blowing? It's just like goddamn. <laughs> You guys didn't get to see the face. We did a smoky eye using the Visionary so palette. And we're just gonna continue to shape the face. I'm using the Lancome Tint E Doll. And we're just gonna go ahead and just blend this out. And we're gonna start the snatch and the smize. I really wanted to give Tyra a Patrick Star glam. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sleep like this tonight. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you, <laughs> To do tomorrow. I got Zoom meetings tomorrow. I'm not okay. gonna waste this phase. Do you think that this era of your life is the craziest that it's been? Mm -mm. No. What no, was the, by no what means. Was, really? Mm -mm. What was the craziest Tyra Banks era of your life? Busiest, craziest uh, couple. When I first went to Paris mm -hmm. and 25, first time. yeah, first time out of high school, went to Paris, graduated, went to Paris, and it was like 15 go sees a day, like, you know, like castings, like on foot and on a metro, mm -hmm. didn't have money for taxis or car services or anything like that. So it was intense. Then the next one is probably when I started to become a supermodel <clears> and <throat> all that like swimsuit world and lingerie, mm -hmm. Victoria's Secret life, just crazy nonstop calls mm -hmm. coming in. Then when I had my talk show and I shot two top models a year and my talk show. So that At was, the same time. At the same time. So that was hell. Like mm. literally, the probably the most unhappy in my life mm. was shooting all of that at the same at time. Once. At once. Hell, hell, hell. Because really? it wasn't just showing up to work, I was producing both shows. Producing. And on camera for both shows. Mm -hmm. it was, and then also starting new businesses mm -hmm. too that the mm -hmm. world didn't see yet. So it was mm -hmm. very difficult. Yeah. Most successful in my life. But do you think time? all of those like difficult. prepped you for your businesses today? A hundred percent. Right. <laughs> one hundred percent prepped me for today. There's one thing that um, a lot of investors will say is they want people that have been through hell, people that have had businesses that have failed, people that have just seen it before, so that when they invest in your business, you're not gonna be making those mistakes for the first time. You're gonna know not to do certain things. Mm. And so all of that experience and wins and losses and mistakes just helps you to like be stronger and better. Mm. And so. you're already used to calling the shots anyways, because mm -hmm. it's, it's your face, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. image, your name. Mm -hmm. What about you? What is your craziest time of your career? I think now. Makeup line the, and the, the makeup channels line. and all the, yeah. Yeah. By the way, I'm just using a little bit of concealer just to start contouring and snatching the face because this is like my favorite part. And Tyra is transformative with the glam. So I want to give her glamour. Mm -hmm. The first time that we met, I think was like on um, DMs on Twitter. Did I, did I slide into your DMs? She slid in my DMs. So I was like, yo, baby, you look cute. Right, and oh, I want to tell this shoot. because it's so crazy because I had just bought like a dress in, you know, Santi Alley, little tchotchke oh, and things. Oh, but and that's, but that's cute. That's and fantastic. I remember Good deals. I, I had just moved to LA and I was like, you know, there's a little beauty event back in 2016. And I had worn a dress and people were like, I had a brown wig. I was like, I've never worn a wig and a dress anywhere because I've mm -hmm. always like been Patrick Starr, he, him, gay. And I was like, let me just dress up and just feel feminine oats, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I remember someone was like, oh my God, you look like at Tyra Banks. And I'm like, not the kids tagging a supermodel. <laughs> my brother, mm -hmm. he was in my studio apartment in the other room mm -hmm. and he was like, Tyra Banks followed you and DM'd you. And I was like, let's grab coffee sometime or something. To have someone so famous recognize my individuality was like but she was so beautiful. crazy to me. I think going into YouTube and being so scared of being yourself was so scary. And then to have Tyra Banks like slide in my DMs and be like, <laughs> baby girl. And I was like, do I delete the fucking tweet? I'm just so fucking scared. Like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, wow, these people really see me. And I think, you know, what I've carried into one size is we want people to be seen and to be heard. Mm -hmm. And we want people to be empowered through beauty. And mm -hmm. that's my medium. And mm -hmm. your medium is, is modeling and being confident mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. acting and all the above. So I just have to share oh that with you. Oh my God, I love it. And then we went to dinner. Remember we had a very fancy dinner. What was the name she of that did. restaurant? Um, you tell me, girl. It was fancy. It was, it was Italian in yeah. Malibu. 
Yeah, it's a fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it. It's where all the people go. Riri, I hear that it's your favorite restaurant. I don't know if that's true, but I heard yeah, she Rihanna's was like, favorite goes here. restaurant. They always say that, Rihanna, this is Rihanna's table. I'm like, okay. So, so cool, memorable for me. Yeah. And it all happened with a DM slide. DM. Do you have people slide into your DMs in other ways? Miss Girl, we'll save that for your channel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you living your dream life, Patrick? Did you ever think all of this could ever be real when back in the day when there was those people in the makeup store that you were working at telling you that you can't wear makeup and then telling you to wash your face? Did you ever see this? Do y'all see who the fuck I'm touching right now? It's motherfucking Tyra Banks. Hello? Are you kidding? You're asking me as I'm... It's crazy. It's literally crazy. Literally and I'm crazy. here like, y'all don't know the behind the scenes. Um, like They're like, so what do you want to do? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? What about this? And they're showing me all kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah. Mm. I trust you guys. I don't oh, know. Shoot, good. child. It's good. I trust you guys. And normally, I'm not like that. Normally, mm -hmm. I'm like, what is this? Send it in advance. And what is this? And no, mm -hmm. we're not going to do this. And we'll do this. And then show us this. And then we'll prove this. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, y'all, I have to make so many decisions every single mm -hmm. day with some ice cream and so many other things. I, mm -hmm. I just want to be able to just trust you guys. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Which says a lot for you. I trust uh, you. Thank you. I'm literally living a dream. Like, and to have the same people in this room, like with me from day one. I know. I see these see... faces that I've been seeing for so long. Right. Like family. And I yeah, love Yeah. <laughs> They're here. I'm loving this contour, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I don't even have to do this anymore. Because <laughs> it's there. Look, see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this next part I, I have like been obsessed with doing. Mm -hmm. It's called reverse baking. Oh, reverse baking. I know what a bake is. When you traditionally bake, you take a translucent powder mm -hmm. and set it right on top of the concealer mm -hmm. to bake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But foundation powder, I like to give a light veil underneath because mm -hmm. you get like the insurance and coverage that you need because mm -hmm. there is a little bit of pigment mm -hmm. in it and it's buildable. The turn up the base foundation powder yeah. is versatile. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this sponge really quickly and blend the creases okay, I'm stay from the makeup. Up. I'm still looking up. And then I take a flat brush like this and I'll just go ahead and I'll lightly set and it gives this blown out mm. beautiful set. And then I bake with a loose translucent oh, powder uh, because it literally sets so sickening. Mm. You're using less product when you add a little bit of color mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I've been doing for many months. You can get that beautiful coverage without looking crazy. I love it. And the color that I'm using under here, because we're gonna go for a little bit of red, is medium two, which has neutral rosy undertones. And you would probably think on Tyra, like why a neutral rosy undertone? But I wanna mm -hmm. go ahead and use this because it'll match like the warmth mm. and offset because we're gonna go ahead and contour. Oh my God, we are the same color. Look, that could be my hand. <laughs> Just right? with a little bit of extra meat, Like, we girl. are the same, but we're the same. Yes. I love yes, this, right? Girl. Yes, we're here. We are here. I didn't, you, we really do wear the same I color. swear, when I was in Vegas, I was like, Brittany, what's in that, what's in that touch of, what's in that Miss Banks? I was trying to get into the gig, because I'm like, I know I'm going to do her makeup one day. What's her mm, color? So I, know, so I know that dance. And then you're like, oh, that's my color. So next to set her face, we're going to go ahead and take medium five, which has golden undertones. And I think when it comes to, like, the face, you're able to have this more multi-dimension in colors because the face is not just one shade so especially for women of color so don't be afraid to kind of like mix your undertones because that's what gives it the life and that's like the celebrity glamour you don't want to be all golden because then you're just going to look gold mm -hmm. so to have a little bit of dimension because then we're going to add the blush and like the neutral rosy is here under the eyes under the center of the face and the gold under undertones are on the outside and what's going to connect those is the blush and then the bronzer and the contour, so. And normally for contour, we, we like something a little bit more neutral mm -hmm. so you can emulate those um, undertones. Mm -hmm. What's a long supermodel work day? Back in the day? Like how many hours? Mm, so. For the kids on the rise, like what can they expect? Uh, so, oh, this is that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. So. If you're going outside, if there's a shoot outside, you have to wake up at the crack of dawn. So stretch up a morning yawning, baby. Like a so, Sports Illustrated day. That's yeah, like a Sports part. Illustrated day or something like that. Probably get up around three, three or four. Get in that makeup chair around 4.35. Then get to the location 
oftentimes before the sun comes up because you want that beautiful sunrise morning light on that body. The highest where the sun is the most unattractive, this is for everyone to know, is between 10 and 2. 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Ugliest light outside, y'all. Ugly light. And so what you tend to do when you're modeling is you will model until that sun is too high. Sometimes the, they would go a little past 10 and get to like 11 sometimes. I'm like, child, this is ugly. Why y'all doing this? They probably would just retouch that off later. But not good light. We were able to rest between mm -hmm. 10 and 2. Mm -hmm. So I would go back to my room. I would just go to sleep. I'd call my friends in LA. Um, a lot of other models back in the day, they would get massages. I didn't understand what that what? was back then. I didn't know what that was back then. Oh, a massage? Yeah. I, I, knew it was a, I knew what it was, but I didn't know that it was a good thing. Uh. I was like, what? What are they going to the spa for? I was like, Sean from Inglewood. I, it, it hadn't like, like seeped in yet what that was. Mm -hmm. But they would get massages. I would just go to my room and talk on the phone. Then you go back to the hair and make a chair around 2 o'clock, 2.30, get your touch-ups, go back on that beach and model until that sun goes down. Wow. Yeah. A long day. Now there's also modeling inside of a studio. You probably get there around like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. They would always have like breakfast there, so it was like a nice little free breakfast. You could model until midnight sometimes. You know, it depends. You're inside of a studio. You don't have to worry about losing the light. Right. All right, y'all, so on Tyra, I went ahead and I applied some lashes, tight lined the bottom of her eyes and smoked it out with a little bit of brownie booked because we're both really booked from the Visionary palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue to contour and connect the highlights and the contours with blush. Um, I'm gonna start to add dimension to the nose and then finish off with the lips. So, Miss Tyra. I liked that contour and connect. Contour and connect. It sounds good on the mouth. Yes. You know, I love words and like sounds like contour and connect. Contour and connect. Contour and connect. I like that. Yeah. Love this brow, Patrick. Hey. Look at that brow. It's the brow kiki for me. What? Kiki, <laughs> we are kikiing up in here with that brow. I can't get enough of that. I'm definitely sleeping like this tonight. I'm going to have this face for like three days. I need that powder because I'm going to set it before I go to bed. Yeah. And just. We're literally the same color, so you can just watch uh, a yeah, tutorial just, and just be like, just I forgot yours. my color. Exactly. <laughs> now for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a warm peach mm -hmm. and apply a little bit to the back right here just to give a little bit of a lift. I don't want too much because mm. that's the look that I want. Some people put it on the apples. I never go up there. Am I yeah. getting schooled? This I am getting schooled at this phase of my life. I love it. Getting back up Do in you it. see? I am very much an apple girl. Yeah, this is like oh. the uppity up up. Oh. But there's different ways to, to do the blush. Yeah, but it's so nice. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're in your resting phase and the cheeks don't lift, it just looks lower than it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. But like here, and then bring a little bit like, mm. a little bit under the eye. I learned this uh, from my friend Makeup by Ariel, mm -hmm. who does... Kylie, and so this is the trickery that he does in the Kardashians. His name is Ariel? Yeah, Ariel. These is are he, his brushes. Oh, yeah. is he related to the Little Mermaid? No. Oh. He likes to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel, thank you for dropping that knowledge into Patrick, who is now dropping that knowledge onto my face. Mm -hmm. I'm blowing my mind. We're going to see her blush on Dancing with the Stars. I know. I'll we'll be like, up here. I'll be like, Patrick and Little Mermaid told me to put my blush up here. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, ultimate puff, and there's a little straight edge right here, so I'm just gonna swoop. Is right that your puff? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that straight yeah, edge. Yeah, there's a little straight edge just so it's faster. Oh, it's cute. Yo, my name is Tyrone, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, I know I look good, you know what I'm saying, with my blonde beard and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, slide to them DMs, you know what I'm saying? Like, here we go, here sorry, we go. Sorry, I just kicked you. You're back. Tyrone just kicked you, y'all, sorry, baby. <laughs> you know what's so nice about this beat? I know we're not done yet, mm -hmm. but, um, I'm beat, but I'm still me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this, I you, think you it's still, about placement. You, you know, it was me. You didn't take me somewhere else, which is nothing wrong with that. But mm -hmm. this is this is um, I still see myself, right? Yes, of course. That's what I love. I love transformation and just like trying new trends, like whether it's the blush or the lining or the blurring. Mm -hmm. Really quick, you guys, shout out to the lashes by Roquel. He came up with a lash line. These are the ones mm. that he'd be using on his client, Beyonce. 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 Hi, Roquel. And we did Nikita on the lips with a little bit of an Urban Decay lip. Mm. In case if anybody's wondering, everything will be linked down below. And it's gonna be down. just gonna have fun. Yeah, I like these lashes, Roquel. 
They are nice. Do you think these lashes will allow me to like sing? Do you think they're gonna like the power? Uh, I mean, put some on Beyonce? do, do we throw like, it back to the Tyra show or the Beyonce? Oh, Beyonce <laughs> came on my show so many times. I used to love interviewing Beyonce on my show. Yo, sister. <laughs> Wind, wait. <laughs> we oh we have wind. It, it's it's coming. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and touch the inner corners to complete that smile. So when we're eating our smile cream, we can go ahead and look real cute taking a scoop without feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, and don't forget the brow bone, kids. Okay. People be forgetting the little brow bones sometimes. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Close mm -hmm. for me. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and change, switch up the hair, and we'll be right back for the finished look. See you then. I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that chuff sick go. Really, I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that 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 that. I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that chuff sick go. Really, I don't really need that that sick. Sick, sick, go, that sick, go, sick, go. I don't really need that, that sick, go. Really, I don't really need that, so sick, go. Really, I don't really need that, that sick. Go. Oh my gosh, this is the finish iconic Tyra Banks look brought to you by me, Patrick Star. I feel like I'm next to a wax fig, y'all. This what? is literally what? Tyra Banks in the flesh, you guys. Dreams do come true. I'm literally with a supermodel, a friend, a mother to us all and extraordinaire. And we did a full smoky snatch, full one size beat because makeup is a one size fits all. Tyra Banks, thank you so much. I, I look, I, I, I feel like I'm like a rock star slash rocker slash retired supermodel slash muse to Patrick Star. Like you beat me, but I still feel like I see myself, but I see the beat. It's like this like beautiful thing that you have done and you brought the lips back, baby. When you get <laughs> older, your lips get smaller. You but look like you have not aged a day and <laughs> these brows, Brow Kiki is out now. Support the smize because you know what, Tower Launch, smize cream, ice cream, her first ever ice cream brand available now. It can ship to your house right now. I know y'all are very hungry. I need some sugar up in your blood system, okay? So if you want to smize and get some ice cream up in your system, check it out at smizecream.com. Smizecream.com, straight to your door, baby. And every serving's got a big hunk of chunk delicious surprise that you got to dig deep and get. This is my Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tyra Banks, for coming on my channel. This is so oh, fun to have so you. I'm gonna sleep like this tonight. She's gonna sleep like this tonight so she can uh, slay another day in the morning. Oh, Be yeah. sure to check her out on a TV near you, Dancing with the Stars. More shows, more things, so more social, stuff. so much stuff. Um, a true inspiration to us all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. No, to you. Keep smiling, alright? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.